Hi there, thanks for coming back to the channel. My name is Mike Pitt. I make videos about business, marketing, and crypto so that you can grow your business, increase your profits, and increase your portfolios. I'm smiling because I'm talking about, uh, I suppose, one of my favorite cryptos, and that's Ethereum. And the title for this video is What Happens When Ethereum 2.0 Arrives? Okay, let's get into this. Before I get into the main content of this video, I will put my socials on screen now. So if you use any of those platforms and you want to connect with me, feel free to do so. And I'll obviously communicate with you there. It's come to my attention that not everybody subscribed. I'm just going to put my visual on screen now showing the breakdown of subscribed and unsubscribed. And if you're one of the uh, unsubscribed, please consider obviously whether you get value out of this video uh, or any other video on this channel and then subscribe and I'll be very happy to welcome you into the community. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, Ethereum 2.0 is the next technological level of improvement. It's not one improvement, it's many different improvements really in, in, in theory, but the main objective of that is to move Ethereum from proof of work, and proof of work is a, a consensus mechanism that it shares with Bitcoin, so it's one of the original uh, it's a consensus mechanism for cryptocurrencies, and Ethereum is going to move from proof of work to proof of stake, which is a very significant improvement. Uh, so, what does that mean? In turn, let's let's go through a few points. First of all, proof of stake. So, proof of stake is more efficient in terms of the energy consumption that's needed to uh, validate uh, transactions on the blockchain compared to proof of work. So, it's going to become more efficient, and use less energy. It's all going to also going to become a lot faster. So it becomes faster, and more efficient compared to proof of work consensus mechanisms. Uh, because it's faster and it's more energy efficient, it will also become more affordable. You may have heard me uh, talk, mention this in a few of the videos uh, on my channel talking about Ethereum gas fees. Ethereum gas fees are so high, whenever you make a transaction, it needs to be a very significant transaction or it's not worth paying the high gas fees. If you're only trying to move a few dollars or a couple of hundred dollars, it's really not worth it. It's not worth doing it because uh, the gas fees are so high because there's so much congestion on the network because it takes a long time to complete transactions. I think currently there's only, a, I think it's 20, 25 transactions per second. When uh, proof of stake is established for uh, Ethereum, uh, there are figures of around 100,000 transactions per second. So you can see it's going to be much quicker, much faster, much more efficient. So proof of stake is like the uh, holy land or the holy grail for Ethereum. So we're trying to get to, uh, and and uh, it's been uh, initially muted a couple of years ago, but now uh, if you read everything that uh, has been released by uh, the founder of, of Ethereum, uh, Vitalik, um, he has said that uh, Ethereum 2.0 is on its way. So we move from proof of work to proof of stake. Excellent. What what else? Uh, because we're at proof of stake, those who understand the difference between the uh, consensus mechanisms will understand that there's now there will be an opportunity to stake your Ethereum. At the moment, you can only do that within the test net. So it's quite complicated to stake Ethereum at the moment. But when proof of stake arrives, you will be able to everybody, even small scale investors will be able to stake Ethereum, even on the regular uh, cryptocurrency platforms, uh, exchanges and earn a percentage, an APY percentage, as they do, as you can with other proof of stake uh, cryptocurrencies. So that's it. Proof of stake is coming in. The advancements I've just discussed, uh, the ability to stake obviously it accompanies the fact that proof of stake is being used as the, the platform for the uh, for Ethereum. There are lots of uh, decentralized DeFi projects, so decentralized finance DeFi projects using Ethereum as a platform. Some of them have become uh, quite slow uh, to operate in because they're based on Ethereum and Ethereum has that sort of backlog uh, on congestion on the network and high gas fees etc. So when you, Ethereum moves to proof of stake. I like that. I'll do that again. When Ethereum moves to proof of stake, 
um, all those DeFi projects based on Ethereum will be a lot more uh, efficient and gather a lot more momentum. So that's all, another benefit. Uh, that includes a lot of uh, those of you interested in NFTs. So let's talk about NFTs now. A lot of NFTs are based on Ethereum, on the Ethereum platform. Not all of them, because there are some, and I've discussed some other options. So uh, some on uh, the Solana blockchain, and I discussed those in the Solana video. I'll find that, and you can uh, click on the link in the description, or I'll put a card above, and you can click on the link in the description to watch the Solana video. But those NFTs that are based on Ethereum are going to become more quote unquote affordable. Obviously, high gas fees are made if NFTs quite an exclusive club in some respects, uh, and that will uh, become more open and inclusive when Ethereum has moved to proof of stake. So that's another benefit. Uh, there will also obviously still be uh, NFTs on the Solana blockchain and its own ecosystem will continue to work independently, obviously. Uh, now, uh, one other area we should look at today is how does this impact the uh, what I've referred to in previous videos? Uh, how does this impact the uh, Ethereum killers? So I described Sol uh, Solana, Cardano, and Avalanche as potential Ethereum killers. They, this historically, and it's been a, this way for a few years now. It's been a big problem with the gas fees on Ethereum. I've mentioned that. Uh, and the high cost of those is, is proving prohibitive for a lot of uh, small scale investors. If Ethereum 2.0 arrives by June, and that's the muted deadline, the new deadline for uh, Ethereum 2.0 being achieved, uh, June 2022, if that arrives, then Solana, Cardano and uh, Avalanche then have uh, their work cut out trying to replace or take some of the business of decentralized finance projects that were and other projects that were based on Ethereum. At the moment, they're in a quite strong position because they've got better uh, transaction speeds and better uh, lower costs of transactions, uh, lower fees. So they're in a, a quite optimum position compared to Ethereum at the moment. But when Ethereum 2.0, uh, which is obviously a much larger uh, cryptocurrency by market cap when that's released uh, in june then all of those so-called ethereum killers uh will be sort of i won't say pushed into the background but will have uh, a more difficult task to take market share from uh, ethereum so it's exciting uh, i don't expect uh small scale investors cryptocurrency investors or newbies into the area to know everything about all of the projects either in the top 10 or the top 100 it's it's impossible to know that but you should uh, do your due diligence do your research and uh look into some of the key developments and in anybody's top five or top 10 developments within cryptocurrency in the next 12 months a key development will be ethereum 2.0 now, what's the uh, significance of that from an investment point of view? Remember, this is a video put together showing my thoughts for uh, edutainment purposes. It's not financial advice, but it's quite clear to see that if you are able to invest with at the moment with Ethereum, if you've got some ETH already, or you're thinking about buying some more ETH, that would be uh, a sensible uh, move to make because when Ethereum 2.0 comes in, and uh, if uh, Ethereum is more efficient, is is faster, uh, is cheaper, all of these benefits that I've discussed, uh, the price of Ethereum is likely to go up. So it's now on the day of recording, it's about two thousand seven hundred dollars or two thousand eight hundred. Sorry, two thousand eight hundred dollars. Uh, uh, but it's likely to go north of that when Ethereum two point oh. So if you were to buy uh, Ethereum. And let's say if you were to buy Ethereum any time between now and June, uh, you're likely to get a, a very significant increase. So let's say perhaps if it's two eight, it might go up to five. And there are some estimates that say eight or ten thousand when Ethereum 2.0 is out. So you will make a, a nice uh, profit there, uh, going from two eight to ten thousand per unit of ETH. And obviously you can buy in fractions of an ETH if you can't afford the whole one, uh, a whole ETH uh, to invest in. So 
that's the opportunity. I made another video about an opportunity when Bitcoin dipped and that was at the start of the uh, of the Russia Ukraine war and that was proven to be right. So I hope I'll be proven to be right with this one. And what I'm saying is, what my suggestion is that buying ETH now is very, very expensive because of the gas fees. But if you can manage to do that, when ETH, uh, when Ethereum 2.0 comes out, you'll see the benefit and you'll have uh, some profit realized there. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. I did. So it's an opportunity I, I believe you should uh, take advantage of. Thanks for watching all the way through. If you've liked this video, please uh, give me a like. Click on one of the two thumbnails to watch another video from me. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Please uh, feel free, don't be shy. Feel free to share your uh, thoughts and comments in the uh, comment section below underneath the video. I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.